This is our first time playing Xenon Zerge. Not, yeah. Uh, um, it's played in Mongolia. It's an alignment game played in Mongolia. Players have to place their place their pieces three in a row or in a square. All right. Nine by nine intersecting lines, 40 pieces per player. Players alternate turns placing a piece on an empty space on the board. When all the pieces are placed, players alternate turns moving a piece to an empty adjacent spot on the board. When a player places three of their pieces in an orthogonal or diagonal line, they remove one of the opponent's pieces. A player also removes one of the opponent's pieces when they place four pieces so that they are one of the four corners of one of the squares on the board. Pete, let me read it again. Players also remove one of the opponent's pieces when they place four pieces so that they are one of the four corners, so I think in a square, yeah. one of the four corners of one of the squares on the board. Pieces which are in these patterns cannot be removed from the board. The player who removes all the opponent's pieces wins. See, okay. this is like... Yeah, it seems like... It. Morris, but way harder. Yeah, it seems like 12 minutes more soon. Super 12 minutes Morris. Okay, so... <laughs> I, have a, I have a line that shows where... And it's going all the way from... Like, for, it shows the last move. I think that's what it is. View, show last move. And it has a yellow, <laughs> has a yellow arrow from the circle where my 39 is all the way to the yeah, middle of the board. To the center. <laughs> so I guess the big question, right? Uh, you know, it's the first game. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll see. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out whether the whether the, the best strategy would be just to like play really close to your pieces, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take off that view last move for, for this game at least. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess my question is like... <laughs> yeah. So there's no way to stop that. What? Yeah, so, so I, I guess I'm just having trouble seeing how this isn't just like <coughs> sort of inherently. Yeah, first player. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about that because like it seems like. Basically, basically, like as long as you're not a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like no, as long as I put two, two down together, you know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, I was thinking about this earlier. 
Would you be more scared of AI or something that's half robot, half human, like a cyborg? Uh, in terms of what? Like, what do I, in terms of like taking over humanity or what? Well, so I was thinking about it two ways, right? Like, like in, on one hand, taking, yeah, I guess basically taking over humanity, I think, is the easiest thing to think about. Is there a reason you're putting things in the corners or what? Yeah, because you can't remove them. That's not true. What the fuck? Uh, it's when oh, you... Okay. It's right. So... Yeah, it's three in a line or when they make like a group of four. Those... The, mm, guys, the, guys, the guys. like four little square. Well, I, I guess they're just supposed to be quick games then, but... <clears throat> Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna, it's gonna. I don't, I don't see much hope. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm surprised it did, it doesn't like sort of automatically. Did you want to try to restart or how, what do you want to do? No, oh, now we can go through the full. I've been doing a lot of different tutorials on my synth. It, it came out with a new update pretty recently. Oh, so. Awesome. What kind of cool stuff can it do now? Um, um, there's... Yeah, different individual tracks can play forward, backwards, or a ping pong. Oh, right, right, right. Which is pretty ping nice. Ping pong. Um, is your Euclidean sequencer? I'd have to explain that another time. Oh, yeah. Um, I've seen that before, but I, I don't 100% understand what it is. It takes kind of the concept of... It's very like mathematical, right? Yeah, it evenly divides everything to however, and then you can like so if you want the bass drum to be evenly divided into four beats, it'd be four beats. You can make it five beats within a measure, and then take out, um, you know, a half note or no, or like a half anything, I guess. But um, so you can just yeah play really uh, yeah. I hooked it up to my computer the other day so I can now play any of like the garage band <laughs> songs or files I guess like any of the garage band sounds I guess would be so yeah the virophone there's some there's some good sounds that I'm hoping to hell yeah boy
Well, well, well. It really doesn't matter. Somewhere out there, some Mongolian laughing his ass off at us. <laughs> Can you believe this idiot playing black? just keeps growing. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, it, it doesn't even matter. If, uh, forget, like, one of yours. <laughs> yeah, so if they're in the group of three, or in the square, then they can't be captured. I wonder, I wonder, like, what about, like, the long line? So eventually I'll just start having, like, a lot more than th groups of three. So I wonder if I'll just stop being able to capture for a tiny bit. Or how that works. Because there's, like, already lines of three. So if I added one for a line of four, I don't think that gives me a, a capture. Yeah. But then also, if you capture and take some off, then I'll have... More room for threes. <clears throat> I'm going to resign. Yeah. All right. We'll play this again sometimes. Maybe, uh, I'm trying to make sure you go first on the next one because I, I was really wondering how. Yeah, yeah, even even if you did make good. I, I don't think there's, even, even if I had gone first as white. I don't think there's any way to avoid. Well, I think if you would have gone first, it would have been easier. But I, I don't think there's an, there's no way of avoiding the first capture, at least for if you played yeah, white. Yeah. So so I don't know if it's just a cascade of continuous captures or not. But yeah, definitely, definitely unforgiving. Right. Until next time, Zen Zerge.